A major political shift is happening in Colombia. That's where a former guerrilla fighter is looking to take power after an overwhelming victory in the presidential primary. Gustavo Petros' coalition is also sweeping congressional elections. Local tennis Cody Weddle has our one and only exclusive report. A joyous night for the far left in Colombia. For the first time ever under the banner of Gustavo Petro, they appear on track to take significant power in the country, winning more seats than any other party in the Congress, Petro himself winning two million more votes than any other candidate in his presidential primary. The big loser, the political center, represented by Sergio Fajardo. The election revealing vast polarization in the country. The presidential election shaping up to be a far right against far left battle. So this result was shocking. And uh, people from the center and the candidates from the center, I think that they are having a hard time today. But with momentum and enthusiasm clearly on the side of the left, can Petro be stopped? And if not, what would his presidency look like in the country? El cambio del modelo, es decir, un estado que intervenga mucho más en la economía. Political scientist Mauricio Jaramillo telling me he wants the state to intervene much more in the economy, more progressive taxes, taxes on the biggest fortunes. So on the one hand, uh, Pedro is running on a platform of transforming the nature of Colombian economy so that it relies less on the exports of oil. And although some of his proposals like ending oil exploration or intervention in the central bank have spooked his opponents, analysts like Jaramillo saying it's too early for comparisons with other leftist Latin American leaders like Nicolas Maduro. And so Colombians will go to the polls for the first round of presidential elections on May 29th. And there's now real hope among Petro's supporters that he could win in the first round. To do that, he would need 50% of the vote. We're reporting this from Bogota. I'm Cody Weddle for Local 10 News.